I am Anil Kumar and now let us begin to solve or prove trigonometric identities. To start with, we will look into equivalent expressions. I have got six different expressions here. Expressions means no equal to sign. So without equal to sign, if I write, it becomes an expression. Sine square x plus cos square x. Can you write this as another trigonometric ratio? That is what you need to do. So that is what we mean by saying write equivalent expressions for the given expressions. So these six questions are for you. You can copy, answer and then look into my suggestions. Right? So first one is sine square x plus cos square x. Then we have sine square x, sine square x minus 1, sine x cos x tan x, 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x. And this is very tricky, square root of sine square x. Write on your solutions, then look into my solutions. Right. The first one, sine square x plus cos square x, is the Pythagorean identity, and you know it is equal to 1. And it's most important identity to use for proving any trigonometric identity, right? So, most of the time, you'll be applying this identity. Now, part B is, you can reorganize this, right? Sine square x could be written as equal to 1 minus cos square x, right? 1 minus cos square x. So that is how you could write sine square x. So I'm only working on this video to give you an idea how this particular basic identity can help you prove identities. Now we have sine square x minus 1. So if I have sine square x minus 1, so think like this. We are working with sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. We want to know what is sine square x minus 1. That means sine square x, we bring this 1 here, so we get minus cos square x. Do you get the idea? So this should be equal to minus cos square x. So that is how we can write another expression for the given expression and all these are equivalent expression. It is not necessary that expression may have some sine or cosine term. Sometimes it could be just a constant, right? Let's look into these things. Here, you may need to do some more calculation. First one is sine x cos x tan x. In identities, tan x should be written as sine x over cos x. So tan x is sine x over cos x, correct? So let me rewrite this particular expression. It is sine x cos x. Tan x I'm writing as sine x over cos x. Now clearly, you can see that cos x can be cancelled. Is it okay? So when you cancel this out, you are left with sine square x. So what we get here is sine square x. So this expression is equivalent to sine square x. Next one is 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x. Uh, I hope you remember the formula a minus b, let me write plus first, times a minus b. So a plus b times a minus b is what? When you expand it, you get a square minus b square. That is what you get. So you could write this as 1 is a, cos x is b. 1 square is 1 minus cos square x. Do you see that? And what is 1 minus cos square x? If I take cos square x on this side, I am left with sine square x. So, so we get sine square x, right? This is what it is. So the given expression could be written as sine square x. Well, you see most of the expressions, you have sine square x involved. And the last one here for you is square root of sine square x. Some of my students in the test paper, they will write this as sine x. Will this be right or wrong? That is another question for you to answer. It is absolutely wrong because sine x could be positive or negative, but square root will always give you positive part. And therefore, you should always write this as absolute value of sine x. So it has to be always positive. So that is the right expression for square root of sine square x. This is very, very important to understand. I hope with this, you are ready to solve some trigonometric identities. So we'll start with simple ones to begin with. Thank you and all the best.